Today on review we are looking at the AB Pixels for the PC which you can get this over on Steam for roughly around $10. The AB Pixel story is a fairly basic one but a very intriguing one for the subject matter that will be at your hand when the gameplay starts. So of course you play as a little girl going into a house that she is now going to be staying in and as she is roaming around in the random hall she stumble across a library where she finds a book that somewhat starts bleeding blood on her. And then every night from that point on when she goes to sleep she has the terrible nightmare that you in the game as we play it, but we'll get to that in a minute. But as the story goes along, she keeps trying to get rid of the book, and every time it keeps returning to the ending finale of the game. The gameplay itself is a, quote, a 2D platformer with some combat short in here. Of course, the combat is very simple and mainly made up of jabs and punches, right along with a low and high kick, which you can use to kick him and ease into someone has a win the level or kick them up in the L to do a L combo and by defeating your enemy in more style way you are given more points to your overall checkpoint system because how the checkpoint system works you will have a ball at the very top of the screen and the game will be giving you the point for every monster you kill in whatever style way possible more style with more points and then we turn your character will start growing and you can just stop at any point for a few seconds and she will create a checkpoint. And the checkpoint can be created wherever you want and yet some levels make it a little more cool than other where you should be setting them just because there's not so many areas you can stand still on. But this is a very unique and take on the type of game. Especially since the game is not easy. The combat itself is not all that difficult. With new enemy introduced every couple of dreams. But it's fairly simple to figure out their own combat style and how to deal with them. The difficult part will come into the actual platforming here. The platforming is spot on. The controls are perfect. No matter if you're playing this on the mouse or keyboard. Or you're playing it with a controller of your choice. And the game shines on this. And when you die, you will realize it's your fault and not because the game is cheap in any way. And they throw some really challenging platforming and mix with combat later on in the game. So the game can start out simple but get challenging very, very quickly throughout the four dream stages you go into with a roughly a couple stages within each dream. So overall, if you are looking for a very challenging platformer with a very unique twit with the combat and the checkpoint system, go check out They Breathe Pixel. So overall, we give They Breathe Pixel a 4 out of 5.